Pursuit of the Gun Show. Yeah, flex the tricep at the bottom. Hey, it's Josh, and welcome back to another In Pursuit of the Gun Show tutorial. And today we're going to be looking at super maximal eccentric training. This is where you take a weight that's slightly heavier than what you can lift with strict form concentrically. Aim for about 110% of your one rep max and then perform about three sets of six eccentric only repetitions. So performing the negative portion of the repetition only. Try and make each repetition last for about four seconds and really fight it all the way down. I find the most convenient way to perform these is to have a training partner assist you with the concentric portion of each lift. And as you can see here, Kane is also applying some resistance as I control the weight on the way down as well. One thing to note about eccentric only training is that it really kicks the crap out of your muscles. So you don't want to use it too often. Maybe throw it in once every few weeks. So after this workout, my plan is to take a week off any direct arm training so that they really fully recover and grow before I take my final measurements. Now there are also a number of ways you can perform super maximally centric training without a training partner or a spotter. One of the simplest ways is to perform single limb or single arm exercises and use your other arm to basically spot yourself. So as you see here I'm eccentrically controlling each repetition and then using the other arm to help bring the weight back to the start position. With the triceps exercise here, my form is actually getting kind of sloppy. As you can see at the bottom of each repetition, my elbow is dropping. But the basic idea is you want to bring it down to a pressing position, press it up, and then eccentrically control it, isolating the tricep, then bring it back down and press it again. I'd actually prefer to do this uh, seated or lying next time. So I'll be back in a week with my final video to see if I reached my swole goal. I try to fit everything on one side and then flip it over and make it a sandwich. And now, we set to work building our masterpiece one tasty bit at a time. McNuggets placed with precision. Perfection. 